Hello everybody, this is 96 Chugi one back with another tutorial, and today we're going to be teaching you how to make your computer a wireless router. So, to get started, you're going to go to this, uh, l uh, the link that's in the description, it's called connectify.me. Uh, uh, the, yeah, that's the website, connectify.me, and then slash thanks, should be in the description. And it's going to take you to this page, it's going to say thanks for installing connectify hotspot. So, you haven't downloaded this yet, but um, what you're going to have to do is it's going to say this down here. Somewhere somewhere, or somewhere on the screen. It's going to say, you may be running an old copy of Connectify Hotspot. Click here to download the latest version, 5.0.1. What you're going to do then is you're going to click the little, uh, you're going to click on click here. And it's going to take you to another page. It's going to say, now downloading Connectify 5.0.1. It's going to open this little tab. It's going to say, would you like to download Connectify? Would you like to open Connectify? You're going to hit save file. It's going to go in your downloads. And then uh, I've already downloaded it. So when you pop it up, you click on it. And it's going to say, would you like to run it? You run it and install all the software. And so when you're done with that, then you're going to exit out of your browser. This is all you actually need to start up your wireless hotspot. So then what you're going to do next is once it's done, there's going to be a little thing down here, a little a new icon on your screen somewhere. It's going to say Connectify Hotspot. You're going to click it. And then so a tab is going to open up on the side. It's going to say Hotspot uh, hotspot Name. It's going to say Connectify Only. And so this is all you need to start it up. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on here, and then you're going to erase all this. But Connectify, you cannot erase unless you have the Pro version which they we're doing the light version, the free version. So then you're going to add whatever you want after it. I put Mario's Wi-Fi. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi or you're on a LAN wire. As you see, I'm connected to Netgear. That's my home internet uh, service. And the reason why I want to use this uh, hotspot is because I always have my door closed. And when I'm in my room, I don't get a good Wi-Fi signal. So um, this one's going to help me a lot. So what we're going to do next is you're going to go to your Internet to Share. It's going to be somewhere on the screen. It's going to say Internet to Share. You're going to click it, and you're going to choose from Netgear, your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi signal, or you're going to choose the LAN wire. See, you could either you could use the LAN wire, let's say if you are in a hotel room or you're somewhere else or you're in the house and you have your computer hooked up to LAN and you want to spread the Wi-Fi throughout your house using the computer as a router you click on that but we're gonna we're gonna strengthen our Wi-Fi signal so we're gonna click Netgear then you're gonna click you're always gonna put this to share over and you're gonna go to share over and you're gonna go to Wi-Fi always Wi-Fi then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and then you're gonna see something that says sharing mode you're gonna click on this and it's gonna open up some options it's gonna say would you like to add Wi-Fi ad hoc open Wi-Fi ad hoc encrypted web key or Wi-Fi access point encrypted WPA2 you're gonna click WPA2 then you're gonna scroll all the way back up and since you already got your name in you're gonna choose your password so you're gonna type in a password I've already typed in mine Chuki 96 Alright, now what you're going to do after all of that's done is you're going to click on Start Hotspot. It's going to start up. A little ad is going to pop up for Connectify. It's just going to say Connectify to Hotspot Pro. You don't need that. Okay, then it's going to go to the Clients tab. As you see there, there's the Clients tab. It's going to say Connected to My Hotspot. That means when somebody connects, you could see who connected actually. And you could actually uh, bat, uh, turn off their Wi-Fi. Turn it, like let's say they connect to your Wi-Fi, and you don't want them uh, having ha have you know being there. So you could actually disable their Wi-Fi from uh, your uh, hotspot. And as you see, it's gonna say previously connected. It's gonna say as you see, it says Mario Luna. That's my iPhone, my Xbox, and of course my uh, my mom's iPad. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna go over to the iPad and I'm gonna show you what's going on okay let's move over here to the iPad as you see we got my iPad here I'm gonna unlock it okay 
as you see, it's currently connected to Netgear. That's my uh, home wire, my home, like, my home internet connection. We don't want that no more. We want the new, uh, my, uh, my, uh, Connectify over here. So you're gonna remember that name and password that you set up for your Connectify hotspot. And it's gonna show up over here. You're gonna click it. It's gonna ask you for your password, so let's type that in. You're gonna hit join. It's gonna connect. As you see, it's currently connected to it, and uh, we got full bars on it. So that's actually way better because actually, if I take it over near uh, farther in my room, the iPad, it uh, if I was connected to my own network, I would only get one bar. So let's see how let's see if the internet works and see how fast it is. I'm gonna go over to Safari. Okay. We're going to type in my YouTube channel. Okay. YouTube.com slash 96 Chuki 1. Alright, ready? Let's see how fast this loads. And now. Wow, that is really fast. And as you see, I got my channel right here. And now we're going to try and load up one of my videos. Let's see which ones we got here. Let's try that one. That's about the okay. This one's eight minutes. This one's six minutes. Uh, let's try the six minute one. Okay, we're gonna click play. And as you see, it's already loaded up. And wow, look at that buffer. It's already, it's already almost halfway done. It's that fast. So, well, this is nice. That is one. really we're good. Back with that other See, I usually only get like one bar in my room. Now, since my uh, wireless router is literally right next to next to my iPad, I'm getting uh, three bars, and it's working super fast. So that's all I have to show you today. I hope you've actually enjoyed this video. Later in the future, I am going to be posting a video on how to actually play your Xbox 360 or even PS3 on your uh, app Apple devices such as the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch and even on Android devices. All you gotta do is download a, an app from the App Store or even the Google e Google Store. So now, uh, that's all I have to show you for today. And oh, by the way, as you see, we go back to my computer and it says that uh, mom's iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi and my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi too. So. You could connect up uh, to like eight devices on here, I think. I believe so. And so I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, have a nice day. Okay, see ya.